Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrex, and of course, welcome back to Volcano Island. In today's episode, I've decided we're going to continue exploring the map. Now, originally, I was going to just go ahead and explore the rest off camera, perhaps keep in some clips of some unique places, but I had so much fun last time, kind of finding all of this stuff for myself, for the very first time, I think we should just continue with that today, and perhaps make it half episode depending on how long it actually takes. So I'm going to mount up on my trusty little Pteranodon, and we're going to get back started going towards the west. There's still so much of this map I am yet to uncover. It seems like there may be one more Dodo Island around the map, and this is just off the coast of the volcanic island, just near that giant frost biome. I was originally going to explore that section just there, but sadly, even going on land there counts as a freezing biome, so until I start making some fur armor, I simply can't get there. That, and I think I saw at least three T-Rexes there defending it, so that wasn't particularly good. And that is a white supply drop. And that is a manta ray, which instantly dissuades me from checking it out. Okay, so we can't go towards the frost biome, because it will kill us. Where else do we have to explore? Well, we haven't explored the, f the northern tip of the volcanic island, so we'll do that. Then we'll go directly south, and we will explore the middle of the island. It seems like this island is a haven for every single type of carnivore. The only carnivore I haven't seen yet is the Giganotosaurus. If we see one of those, every single type of dino is now here, which is actually completely terrifying. It really does seem like this is one of the least safe places I've ever been to. On top of that, the entire island is either hot or burning. It either hurts you or just makes you dehydrate incredibly quickly. I really want that supply drop, but would it be worth going down there? I think not. There's a Rex defending it, and there's a Carno right there. This is the northern section, so if we explore over here as well, that's pretty much the entire island explored. And I would like the map to be complete at this stage, honestly, just so we can see what we're doing. Is that an albino Carno? Have I ever seen one of those before? I don't think I have. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wait, no, it does have some coloration on the back, but even so, very, very, very pretty. Let's just get back up here and sit down. I feel like if I had a good flying mount, it wouldn't actually be too dangerous here, just because, well, I haven't seen a single carnivore on any of the higher-reaching places. I'm not saying they can't get up there under any circumstance, but seems somewhat safe-ish, kind of. Resisting the urge to randomly attack one of the larger animals. If we get the last shot on something like a Rex, we would level up so much. I could probably take a Raptor. But... Aha! We hit him! Okay, let's just sit back down. I don't even know how much damage that does. That um, silly spin attack. I know it drains all of your stamina, so it's not been the most useful while travelling, but... Not going to risk it versus a Rex. Oh, there we go. A Giganotosaurus. Hello. Yep, this has every single type of carnivore on it. Absolutely fantastic and terrifying in equal measure. Okay, we need to go to the center, which of course is the active volcano. Yep, we're burning. I know we're burning. This is... Wow, even a Sarko. So yeah, now it is every type of carnivore. I can't think of any others I haven't seen yet. There probably is one or two I am not thinking of, but yeah. I wonder if a Pteranodon could kill an, an Argent Avis using the spin attack. I actually don't know, I've never really tested it out. I don't trust myself using Pteranodon since in the last season I ended up losing two of them just because I thought, oh I know, they'll make okay-ish hunting pets. Sit down here, burn a little bit, then we'll get going again. Ooh, a cave. This may end up biting me in the butt, but I do want to see what's in this cave. And can I take the flyer? As long as we're not burning, we're okay. Oh, lava. 
Oh, come on. How are we not burning in here? It's a giant... Okay, I'm not even hot now, apparently. I feel like we shouldn't be here. Oh, wow. Can we go down there? Um, Tranodon, are you up for a bit of a... Ugh, exploration? Really, I'm hot. Why would that be, I wonder? Yeah, we're overheating, of course. Wow, once we get some thermal gear, definitely coming back here, then. I have been told that the underground on this map is glorious, and I will explore that eventually, once I feel a bit safer and I'm a little bit better geared up. Right now, I'm just in very basic armor and very basic weaponry. In fact, I don't even have my pike with me, and I have, like, three trank arrows in terms of range firepower. Yeah, not the safest. And we've spent way too much time on this island. Well, we're burning again, but we'll just sit here for a second. Actually, my health is going down way slower than I expected. Yeah, that hardly even hurts. I, I thought overheating was way more damage. Seems like freezing is actually more potent. Or I'm going mad. Could we kill a Quetzal? I am being distracted. No. <laughs> In short, we can't. I, I, I'm already out of stamina. Okay. I'm gonna start going south now, and once I find something interesting, I will report back. I've just seen something there it is, which I haven't seen before, like, ever. So that, I believe, is the terror bird. At least, that's what I think it is, just by the looks. And honestly, I didn't expect it to be so dodo-like. Seriously, look at it, ow. Also incredibly aggressive. I knew they were aggressive, but I thought it was one of those, like, if you get too close aggressions. No. If you're anywhere near them, anywhere, they're going to try and kill you. Now, now you can mount these things as well, and they're much smaller than you think they are when you get up close. Still pretty big, though. Like, almost raptor size? Like evil dodo kiwis? Ugh. They are really violent. Well, that's something new, at least. Another thing to check off the list. Loads of compies there down on the beach. As soon as we get some prime meat, I'm definitely getting some of those. Oh god, that's bright. Even with the bloom quality on minimum, that is still remarkably bright. So if we keep going this way, we're going towards the center, and then we just turn here. We then have a poop. Well done, my little Tranodon. Oh, Alpha Raptor? Why is there so many Alphas on this map? Seeing an alpha is a rare occurrence normally, but on this map, no. You see them all the time. What's here, then? What on earth are you? Maybe you're the terror bird. What are you? Apparently not aggressive. That is a bear, though, so we need to be careful, but... Tell me what you are! I need to know! You're like a raptor that's been stretched horribly! Stop, 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 no! Your name just popped up, and I'll be able to see it in editing, but not now. Galimius? Galimimus. I'm gonna call you Stretchy. No, what you look like is a parasaur mixed with a raptor. That's what you look like. I could probably tame you, or at least knock you out, but there's too many hostiles around here. Aha! I, I just hit you both! Can we get the finishing blow on one of them? Yes, we- Oh, we just killed the Carno using a Pteranodon. Take that! Well done. So, you can have some more stamina. And you've almost leveled up, so let's just go ahead and, and allow you to harvest. How long does prime meat actually last in the inventory? Uh, not as long as I would like. But still a lot longer than if you're holding it yourself. Probably won't get any use out of that, but even so. I was, I was about to ask if Stegos dropped prime meat, and yes they do. Excellent. Back to exploring. 
not that interesting, but I would like to just mark this for future reference. There is a load of ore just out in the open around here, and this includes some crystal as well, and even some obsidian, and that's like almost directly in the middle of the map. What I haven't seen yet, though, which is kind of disappointing, I have not seen a single Dodicarus. At least I think that's how it's called, I'll have to look it up. That's the equivalent of an Anculo, but for stone rather than metal. And I haven't seen one of them yet, and that's kind of what I need at the moment to actually progress a bit faster. So I will keep on looking. I have no idea what type of terrain I'm really looking for. I'm assuming something like hills, mountainous regions, lots of rock. Okay, now that I would count as interesting. We have some more ruins. Which apparently lead inside the mountain. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, if this attaches to the ocean, that would be fantastic. And sadly, it doesn't seem like it. I was going to say, that would make the ultimate kind of docking area. What's through there? And can I get through here with a flyer? Oh, come on, I can clearly fit through there. I'm assuming I'll have to go underwater, so not right now. And this is here. Okay, then. Kind of showed the map for like half a second there, admittedly, but even so. That looks like a very big raptor. Are you an alpha or just bigger than I remember? I think just bigger than I remember. Up here goes to more ruins, which leads to... Nothing, I think. Just outside? Just outside. There are so many ruinous sections in this map, it's kind of awesome. And this is very similar to where we're currently perched up. Oh wow, but far, far more intense. Loads of ruins around here. So you can walk up here, it's all stared. Down into here, which then leads to the outside again. Still nothing too interesting with the ruins. I mean, I love their aesthetic, and I love the idea of building near them, especially now the bug where dinosaurs fall through the ruins is apparently fixed when you log off or go out, out of range. But I haven't really found any significance with them yet. I'm sure at least one ruin section is going to have something weird about it. The entrance of a cave or something within them. So I will keep on looking. And I think I'm going the right way. Ooh. Beavers and beaver dams. Ooh, and an ankylo. Not the one I wanted, you're not a dodicarus, but at least we know there are some ankylos around here. Wow, something near here is absolutely tanking my frame rate. Literally, it's something next to this ruin. Right now, I'm at 25 frames per second. Moving just over there, it goes back up to about 60. So what on earth is with these ruins? Okay, nothing there. We have the beaver dam over there. My frame rate's getting worse. Oh! Okay then, we have a hole into the underground. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see what I think I saw? It's hard to... Are they just weird shadows, or are they as spiders? And snakes? Oh, I wish I had a spyglass so much right now. Actually, how do you make a spyglass? Because I, def I definitely t taught myself how, how to make it. I need more hide and crystal. Yeah, I'm not going down there, even on a flyer. No chance am I going down there. Random, unfamiliar hole into the bottom of the abyss. Um, no. Not going to go there, honestly. Am I going the right way now, at least? Okay. Back to exploring and finding things which don't destroy my frame rate. Oh, all the animals at the bottom, that's what's causing my frame rate to die when I'm close by. So they were spiders and snakes. Lovely. 
Well, that's just weird. This section right here is almost identical to the place we're currently building our rafts. So much so, I actually thought I'd gone the wrong way. And this is towards the east, so the only thing I'm really left to explore now is the island just over here, and then the rest I can explore on the way back. The sections unexplored in the west are all just f um, frozen zones, so I simply can't get there. And I am still yet to see a single Dodicarus. I have looked everywhere, and I've made sure to be, well, paying as much attention as possible to anywhere I think one would spawn. And I'm trying to think back onto the regular map, whichever that's called. I think it's called the island now, isn't it? And I'm trying to think of where they spawn there, and all I can think of is mountains. Whoa, those things can run. But what from? Am I even going the right way? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Map, make it easier for me, please. Thank you. Welcome to the next island, home of the amazing Alpha Carno. Yeah, I'm not landing anywhere near here again. So we have an Alpha Carno, we have lots of raptors there trying to eat everything in sight, and we have one of the spawning pads. What else is on this island? So this is the island furthest towards the east. Hello, Bronto. Okay, we have some Ankylos. Seems like that, those are actually very easy to find, they're pretty much everywhere. Ooh, we could try and get that a last hit on that raptor. Sadly not. Try again, try again. If at first you don't succeed, spin, spin again. Ah, raptor, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> or just run away like a coward. Or hit both of them at the same time. Or all three of them. And apparently harvest as well, because that attack actually harvests. This is Raptor Island. They're absolutely everywhere. And ants. Great, the bugs are back. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. That almost makes it worth it, though. Building here would be very easily very pretty. Becoming nighttime, though, sadly, so this section will be a bit dark. But, even so... That's very cool. One more place I would very much like to build. There's so many places like that. Last island? Last island. Oh, this is the island we've already explored, and in fact it's the island I was talking about perhaps would make a great new home, probably the most homely of all of them. But, we haven't explored one of the volcano islands all that much. Just towards the north, it seems like it's completely separate, but we haven't fully explored it. So we'll have a look there, see if we haven't fully explored it, and then we'll go back towards the centre on our way home. And then I think we've explored pretty much every area of the map which doesn't kill us by just being there. Here's looking at you, frozen regions. So the reason why I haven't explored this too much is this is Carnivore Island. Okay, we're going to leave this place now knowing what it is, and never come back here until we have a much more powerful animal than my little Pteranodon. Towards the middle, and then back out towards home again. It's been an adventure, but still no Dodicarus. Well, what I will have to do is have a look on the wiki after this episode's finished, and quickly find where they're found on this map, because otherwise I would just be going around in circles pretty much for all time. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird location. It's pretty much just what looks like a bottomless pit of water. I have no idea how far down that goes, but since we haven't upgraded our oxygen at all yet, and I don't have any scuba gear, I don't think I can really go down there. It doesn't look too deep, but it does have that curve at the end. I could probably get down to the bottom, but not go any deeper. 
can we just have a quick look see there? Oh. That wasn't very fair. Okay, and now we're going back up because we're about to get starved of oxygen. I think we are going to get starved of oxygen. Come on, I saw it get to the halfway point. I think we're just going to take a little bit of damage on the very last few seconds. There we go, yeah, we're fine. So, no idea what's down there, and I don't have enough oxygen to find out. But it is definitely somewhere I'll have to make a note of. Oh, I see a lot of ice biome and a lot of swamp. I'm assuming then this is the last area to be discovered. Yes, it is. Okay, I think I've, I have pretty much discovered all this before. I haven't discovered what's on, on the land, though. Well, this is a little bit terrifying. If I'm not mistaken, yep, that is a Giganotosaurus egg. Next to a dead Bronto. Really close to where we're currently staying. Now, I haven't seen it yet, so I feel like we're okay, and by the looks of things, I can see all my animals. In fact, even the dodos are still on their raft. But that's kind of terrifying, and honestly, starting to urge me to head on out and start finding a new place to start building, because I do not feel safe here at all. And of course, now we actually have a flyer, it means once we move one of our rafts over there, we can simply fly back and then grab the rest of the animals and the other raft. So I think that's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to move all of my animals over to the island towards our east, or possibly... Actually, no, yeah, definitely towards the island towards our east. It's semi-safe with a couple of predators, but no massive ones, and I feel like we have a better chance of finding some weird things while we're there. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Next time? I don't know. We'll see what we have to do. Goodbye.